hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson I am going to show you logical instructions into our microcontroller but before we proceed for a logical instruction set I am going to also show you how to use a barrel shifter with the arithmetic instruction as you might remember that we had earlier a barrel shifter before going to feed our register data into ALU so there were here a barrel shifter so this was a barrel shifter and then there was a source register which was you can say the RM and then there was another source register which was RN with the data uh, path A and the data path B okay so with this data path A and the B the data was being fed into the ALU and here it was a barrel shifter which do some logical operations such as shifting left and the right with arithmetic left and right shift with a rotate right and the left and then finally we were getting here result that was stored into RD so in the same way we are going to discuss here how we can use a barrel shifter while performing arithmetic instructions earlier I had shown you how to perform this barrel shifting before performing move operation but in this I'm going to show you how you can do addition by using uh, with the help of the barrel with more efficient help of the barrel shifter so here let's say we have R0 is equal to 0x00 0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and we have here R1 is equal to 0x then 0 0 0 0 5 and now I am going to write here an instruction which add R0 and R1 with logical shift left of R1 that's the LSL by one digit that is the 1 so in this case you know what will happen here it will feed this R1 here so it will feed this R1 here and uh, if I show you like here a true value then you can say the R1 will be here okay and there will be another R1 also this R1 and this R1 will be here and then this will be 0 and the barrel will shift LSL by 1 and the LU will operate addition operation so that means here first R1 is going to be logically shift left ok so let's say this is result n and this is of course r1 so the n first n will be lsl r1 by one digit the logical shift left that's when r1 will shift this side and in this side this r1 will become 0x 4 times 0 and then it will become 0 0 0 and A right and after this you know how it becomes A um, I can explain you like this here if you expand this 5 into binary you will see here it becomes 0 1 0 1 okay and if you shift it left by 1 it will become 1 0 1 0 and this 1 0 1 0 is corresponding to a that's why it becomes a here and now we have here that is r1 uh, that is equal to in fact n and now we have r1 here r1 is same 0 x 4 times 0 
and then we have zero 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 and five and then we need to perform here add operation the result will be stored into the r zero and it will be zero x four times zero 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 f if you see here a plus five is equal to f so this is the final result will be play which will be placed into r0 right here so you can say r0 is equal to r1 plus logical shift left of r1 by one digit okay great so this was about a barrel shifter now next we are going to um, see our logical instructions so we have here four type of logical instructions and those four type of logical instructions are and we have here first and and then we have or then we have here XOR and then we have here bit clear. So that is the BIC. This AND, if I say here, let's say the RD, RN, and N, in the same way if we apply here RD, RN, N, and RD, R and N, N let's say the R D R N and N so what we get here into the output in R D we get R N and N and operation here we get rd equal to the rn and r operation with n and here we get rd is equal to rn and xor operation with n and then finally here we get rd is equal to Rn and operation of negative n that's the complementary of n so let's try to understand this with an example so, so in an example we are going to first take a value of register let's say r0 is equal to 0 x all zero and then we are going to take r1 which is 0x 0 to 04 0 to 0 04 0 8 uh, 06 and 0 8 and then we have here r2 r2 is equal to 0x 10 Three zero, five zero, and seven zero. And if I do or operation here, the or operation of R zero, R one, and R two. Then R zero is equal to here it will be r1 or of r2 in the same way if we say here the or operation of each these bits so if you remember the or operation it do 
if it takes the highest value while doing the OR operation that means if we do 1 OR of 0 it will produce here 1 if we do 0 OR of 1 it will produce 1 and if we do 1 OR of 1 it will produce 1 and 0 OR operation with 0 it produces 0 so only apart from this 0 OR 0 in every cases is produces 1 so the similarly if there is 8 8 or by 0 will produce result as 8 and 0 or by 7 will produce result 7 and 6 or by 0 will produce result 6 and 0 5 or will produce 5 and so on we have here so this value of course that is the 0x so here we have r1 that is in fact r2 is equal to 0x 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 8 value so this was a simple OR operation however we have a little bit more complicated instruction which is a bit clear so let's try to understand the bit clear instruction in a bit clear instruction let's say we have r1 is equal to 0b 0b says that the binary 4 times 1 and we have r2 is equal to 0b 0 01 0 and 0 01 and then we have an instruction bic bit clear R0, R1 and R2. So in this case R0 is equal to in this case R0 is equal to R1 and if you remember here and of not of n okay and of not of n and that is not of R2 okay so what does it mean it will just complement every digit okay so it will just produce a complement of every digit so you see it has 0 1 0 1 that means it will produce a result of 0 b 1 0 1 0 that's mean it will do a complement to understand this in a better way what we can do here we can say here the r1 so r1 we have 0 b 4 times 1 and then we have here not of r2 so the not of r2 will become here 1 0 1 0 that is 0 b and then finally we are going to do the AND operation so once we do the AND operation 1 and 1 become 1 1 and 0 become 0 1 and 1 become 1 1 0 becomes 0 so this is the final result which we will get into our R0 which is eventually our destination register so one more question you might ask is that whether this type of operation whether this type of operation will update the program status register or not so you can say here the logical instruction update the SPSR that's the st saved program status register flags only if a suffix is present So if this S suffix is not present then this type of instruction 
this type of instruction will not update status flag so this is all about in this video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day